James Holly, CEO of Traction, is also the chairperson of the African Rail Industry Association, ARIA. And we take a moment just to talk about the progress, specifically open access. Yeah, I think some really encouraging stuff, absolutely outstanding support that we have received as area for our, our study into the practical implementation of third party access. And that's from various uh, spheres of government. Uh, I think what we all sort of most enthused about is that Operation Bougainvillea, which is obviously the partnership between National Treasury and the Presidency to oversee the implementation of structural reform, has identified third party access as one of the priority projects that they are driving from their side. So I feel really enthused by that. Um, you would have seen that Operation Bougainvillea was widely quoted as being behind the um, and supportive, rising on the move, on the increase of um, self-generation from one megawatt all the way up to 100 megawatts. So they do seem to be making real inroads into this implementation of structural reform in South Africa. So, you know, we've been enthused by that. And then from the various line ministries, we're getting absolutely wonderful support. So, you know, I, I think it's a, it is a tremendously exciting time for the railways in South Africa. The, the membership of AREA has absolutely exploded over the course of this year. Um, I think as a consequence of everything that we do in the, doing in the area to support the, the future of the industry. Uh, I think we all recognize and we all understand that the industry is an absolute low point at the moment uh, because of the, the cut down in government spending over the last couple of years, which has led to large scale liquidations, business rescues and uh, sh the shutting down of plants and, uh, and of course the associated retrenchments. And given all of that, which is obviously something that's unfortunate for now, the, the future does look particularly bright and we just hope that um, we can um, implement this uh, structural reform in a sort of a well planned, well thought through but timely manner. If there's any information that anybody out there that's a rail stakeholder would like to understand more about the structural reform that the South African government has planned and uh, you know in, in Operation Bougainvillea there, there are a few priority projects. There's um, there's the implementation of the draft white paper international rail policy, there's third party access, and there's the branch line concessions. So, you know, if anybody in the in the in the broader stakeholder environment, they have any questions regarding structural reform, they must please make contact with the association. Um, we are busy with an education program so that everybody can understand what it is. And we're making presentations to the associations and uh, we're trying to touch on as many of those associations as we can. People like the, the agricultural associations, NAMSA, minerals council associations, etc. So that because we feel that the more that people understand what uh, the rail structural reform that the South African government has announced, what it entails, uh, the more people can plan their strategies around it and, and the more we can enhance the discussion and start to find uh, really, really viable solutions as to the best way to actually practically implement this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, please reach out if we can just, if I can just extend a hand to industry to please reach out to us in the area. Um, we'd be absolutely thrilled to, to make presentations to, to any forums so people can better understand the wonderful opportunity that the rail industry actually does present in South Africa and this incredible heritage that we have and this huge embedded track infrastructure um, around South Africa that is, despite the, the challenges with cable theft and vandalism, actually in good state.